This weekend, NASA came to our home track, which is Road America. Uh, it's my home away from home. I've been going there since I was a little tyke. Fantastic. I mean, it's it's the best track in America. I love it to death. I've been driving there for four or five years now. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of laps. I mean, it's just like it's just like going home. It's like you know, crawling into bed at night. You know, covering up with your favorite blanket. That's what it feels like. And we were primed to have a really, really good weekend. I mean, it's our home race. We were there to show everybody what we can do. And I was there to prove a point. I was there to beat Zach Hillman, honestly. I was there to beat Zach Hillman. Zach Hillman is a really, really good friend of mine. I love Zach. Uh, him and his dad, Doug, have engineered and built a fantastic GTS2 race car. And uh, they're very hard to beat. I mean, Zach is a hell of a racer. And that, that is a hell of a car that they have put together. So... So we were working really hard on the Focus to get it ready Thursday night for Road America, and it just didn't work out. We got what we thought was the problem fixed, and it turned out we had a turbocharger issue as well, and we just couldn't get it fixed in the time frame to get it there uh, for Friday. Friday, Friday we tested, and we do, usually don't do the test days with NASA. We decided this was a good weekend to test on Friday because we really hadn't had many laps in the GTS2 configuration with this car at Road America, like at all, ever. Uh, so we were kind of trying to get a bead on the setup and all that other stuff. We ran 38s in the test day, and in my mind, I was like, oh, 38s in the test day, that's gonna be great. We're gonna be able to run and compete right near the top of the pack. We get first free practice session on Saturday, and Hillman goes out and runs a 32. I mean, a 232. I go into qualifying, and I'm like, well, the best we're going to qualify is going to be like maybe P4, because I was I was right around the same time as all the other E36s. Turns out my transponder wasn't fucking working, which was awesome. Uh, so I qualified dead last. I, but, you know, I was happy overall, because I was like, woo! Ayrton Senna will drive from the back, you know, should be good. How was the race? The race was awesome. <laughs> you can't just like omit a whole After the good result on Saturday and the party, uh, I woke up Sunday morning uh, very hungover. I did not want to drive the race car at all because it was very hot. I drug myself to the racetrack on Sunday morning 
and drank some Gatorade, and I felt better, uh, ready to get in the car and race. So, I got in the car and raced. Dance all. <laughs> I see Hillman in the grass, and I'm like, a light bulb goes off in my head, and I'm sorry, Zach, for saying this if you do watch it. Uh, I was like, holy crap, I have a chance to beat Zach Hillman, because he went spinning off into the grass. Like, he's got to get by everybody and me to get back to the front. And something, like, went off in my head, and I was like, all right, race mode, must go. And uh, then I did. I took off like a rocket ship and passed uh, everybody except for kind of annoying, first and second place. It's all good. It's a good weekend. Car ran really good. I think we cracked the subframe in that last race, but stuff we can't fix. And uh, you probably won't see me again for the rest of the year. So enjoy the uh, enjoy the off season. Have some fun. Drink some beer. It'll make you feel better. If you guys are interested in this and you'd like to come out, give us a call. We can build you a race car and we can get you behind the wheel.